The 390 Duke has always been a real-life example of the David and Goliath story. That admittedly small-looking bike from KTM packs a far larger punch than its dimensions, or cubic capacity for that matter, suggest, on road and on track, it could put some bigger bikes to shame. In fact, it has even inspired fear in riders that were not primed for how manic it could get. And now, as we are standing in front of its evolution, we can feel an inkling of that fear taking bloom inside of us. Because the 2017 390 Duke looks ready to bite your head off. This bike is sharp, sharp as a chef's knife. There are lots of lines, angles, and pointy ends everywhere, so much so that this bike might as well have come from the sets of Terminator 3. The split headlight unit up front looks like an inverted pitchfork and houses all LED headlamps and daytime running lamps. Crowning the headlamp unit is an all-new TFT color instrument display that can connect to your smartphone and stream slash control phone calls and audio. The fuel tank is also all new, it's built out of steel and capable of holding up to 13.5 liters. As with the Duke 250, which we reviewed a week back, the fuel tank is more vertical and forward inclined than before, empowering the 390 with a more purposeful, more aggressive, and ready for action stance. Underneath the tank is the bright orange trellis frame that we have come to associate with the Dukes. It has been modified for the new 390 and now features an exposed bolt-on subframe. The subframe beautifully disappears under the pillion seat, portraying the 390 Duke as a wonderful sum of its parts. Other cosmetic changes include a simpler underbelly pan, a side slug exhaust, as opposed to the erstwhile underbelly unit, and newly designed seats. The 390 Duke is quite the looker on the whole. It looks raw, ready, mean and even deadly, it looks built for purpose. The 2017 390 Duke is powered by the same 373 cubic centimeters, liquid-cooled, single-cylinder unit as its predecessor, with the power figure unchanged at 43.5 HP at 9,000 RPM and peak torque bumped up by 2 nanometers to 37 nanometers at 7,000 RPM. The torque pump has been facilitated by the use of a larger airbox. Other powertrain changes include the addition of ride-by-wire throttle. On track, you immediately notice the effect of the ride-by-wire throttle, the opening, closing, and modulation of your throttle is wonderfully smoothened out, giving you much more control over the manner and quantum of power delivery. And speaking of power delivery, you have access to a whole lot of power at almost any point in the rev range, though it is most concentrated in the middle, between 4,500 and 8,500 RPM. Stay in that power band and you will either have a grin or the gut have mercy look plastered on your face. Getting to the power band is not much of a task either, the short gearing ensures that twisting the throttle sends the digital taco needle spinning madly towards the red. The limiter will cut you off at 10,500 RPM, but until then, there is no abating in power delivery or that loud, raucous exhaust note. The 390 does not feel very comfortable in lower revs, which might be an issue in traffic, but a final verdict on that will have to wait till we conduct our road test. Another feature which really makes the riding experience brilliant is the slipper clutch. While not a new feature, it is still very welcome, hard downshifts are surprisingly smooth, with barely any rear wheel lock or squirm. The 390 Duke's claimed crowning glory, however, is not the explosive engine performance. The 2017 390 Duke had been nicknamed the Corner Rocket by KTM, indicating in a most unsettled manner, that this one is for the bends. Lucky for us, the Budge Hodge test track has a choice selection of corners, sweeping, tight, hairpin and bowl, that allowed us to put this nickname to the test. It comes as no surprise that this bike is absolute dynamite around corners. Attacking a corner feels almost intuitive, the chassis, suspension, and tires all work together in wonderful sync to take you round gracefully, safely and most importantly, quickly. The wheelbase has been shortened by 10 mm, which makes the bike that much easier to flick in and out of a bend, and once again, the ride-by-wire throttle comes in handy, allowing you to throttle more progressively than before as you make your way around the turn. 
Brilliant cornering ability does not imply lackluster stability on straights. We torpedoed down the back straight of the truck on track, beyond the speedo indicated 150 km per hour mark, and the 390 stayed impressively stable.